right, so let's start by taking it out of the case. So like here's the the latches will always be on top, and then the handle will always be on the bottom for the bigger part of the case. So yeah, like the the hinge will always be on the top on the, on the lid. Mine is not that difficult. <laughs> Okay, so when you take it out of the case, just grab it by like the fingerboard, but don't push down on the string. <laughs> okay, so when you go to play the violin, you want your feet to be like and then like your left foot slightly out because then when you are actually playing the violin, it's more comfortable and you're not twisting your hands. Okay. So to start playing, go like this. Turn it like this. And then put the button right in your neck. Yeah, it's weird because you don't have sugar rest. Um, here, I'll put the shoulder rest on your back so you can see how that feels. So this, it took me a while to figure it out. They're all different, but you want the bigger part on your collarbone. Also likes to fall off while you're playing sometimes, as seen by me and Mariachi concert. Okay, so that should be better. Yeah, so then put like your jawbone right here mm -hmm. on the chin pad. So it should kind of feel like it like hooks into the top part right here. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm trying to take the beard. Trying to get it somewhere in the middle. I think that's good. So then is that uncomfortable for you? I don't know. Okay. It's all of it is uncomfortable. So, well, like, even just leaning on it. Is that better? So when you play the violin, you kind of have your chin, like, you're looking down the fingerboard. Mm -hmm. Is that more comfortable? Okay. Okay, so now, let's just pizzicato. There's no one. <laughs> So let's try pizzicatoing. So when you pizzicato, you want to have your thumb like right here on the fingerboard, and then just use your first finger, or you can use your thumb. Yeah. Um, make sure to have it so it's parallel to the floor. Yeah, and then turn it slightly like that, so then it's easier when you use your foot. Okay. How do I support it with my left hand though? Like I've always just like it's like I don't know. Oh yes, sorry, I forgot about that. So when you put your left hand on it, you can't. You're technically also kind of supposed to support it with that hand. So you put it on the first knuckle of your thumb. And then you put the bottom knuckle of your first finger parallel to that. Yeah. So then when you go to play, it makes it square with your first finger. Yeah. And then always make sure that your wrist is relaxed. Yeah. It's okay. I can do it with other. Okay. Because I won't have this in my hand. Okay. Yeah. But make sure that the button is in your neck. Yeah. 
Um, so then, does anybody be able to reach their face up there? Yeah. <laughs> um, put your arms, put my the knuckle part, like right, not exactly even, because that's awkward, but if you just put it like, so this part is like right here. Like right, even at the edge? Right there, yeah. <laughs> awkward, I was awkward. Okay. Put so your thumb will be yeah. over the fingerboard. There you go. But make sure it doesn't like touch the string yet. So it's always been there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Um. Um, sure. Okay. So whenever you use the bow, and whenever you put it away, you always want to make sure that it's loose, because if you always leave it tight, that stretches up the hair, the bow hair, and then your bow doesn't last as long. So the screw, you turn if you always like do this. And if you go left, it loosens it, and then right, tight. Oh, righty tighty. How tight is it supposed to be? So when you, which is kind of depends on personal preference, I think, but um, like when you push on it, you want to feel some give, but not like a lot. So. Okay. So look at this this way, and then it was tight the way that you originally had it. We well, have yeah, that like a loose one first. Whoa, this is a thing. And I think it's just because your bow is kind of stretched out, but you always want to have the smile in the bow, and that's how you know that it's um, tight enough, but not too tight. Unless you so have like when you loosen it, it should be straight. No. No? When you loosen it, I'll show you. You should have more of a curve. Oh. So then when it's tight. Okay. Not really the curve, but I need a new bow. Okay, so every time that you use your bow, you want to rosin it, so then it glides smoothly across. So, like your rosin, can you see it? It's not doing anything right now. If you were to put it on the bow, um, just because there's no like powder. Oh. So, so if you, you always need to like scratch it a little bit before you use it. And the best way to do that is to use the, the screw. So then, whenever I do this, I always make sure to go over it like a few times, and then just kind of like really get it on there. So then when you touch the bow, there should be rosin that comes off on your finger. Should I keep scratching it until the rosin comes off of the bow? Like scratch this and do it again until you can touch it and have it come off. I normally don't really get a whole lot off of it though. I just put some on there so it's not getting too much. I just feel like this is a little car. And it cracks very easily, so if you drop it. That should be good for our purposes, I think, guys. All right, so when you, before we get the bow, um, when you hold the bow, you want to have your middle finger on the silver ring, and the ferrule. Oh, wait, sorry, you should start with this. Go with this. So 
this is what you should be doing when you are holding the book. Okay. So you put your little finger there, and then your thumb opposite it, but on the top left part of the thumb. And then you put your first finger on the winding, the lower part, and then your forefinger just kind of loops there, and your oh sorry, fourth finger goes over top right of the thumb, or like on top of the thumb. Okay. So then it should be like. Not relaxed, but like your fingers should always have some curve to them. Yeah, yeah. So kind of like when you put the piano. We'll be using that piano for 